Hey, what's up, guys? So, uh, it's Sunday morning. We won the Rugby World Cup yesterday, which was an absolutely incredible game to watch and such an important moment, I think, for South Africa. Um, there's so much stuff in the news, so much crime, so much going on. And I think uniting people through a sport like that and having such a great game and great comments from around the world and support and stuff is amazing. So well done to those guys and well done to South Africa. Um, as you can see, I'm in my usual spot here, just climbing up. Doing a training run for Ultra Trail. It's four weeks away. So, before tapering off for about two weeks, I'm going to do my last big long distance run now. So, I'm at the same dam you guys have seen before. It's like misty out, such rad weather. So, I thought what I'd do, because I skipped the video last week, I've been really busy training for triathlon as well, is I'll do my top three tips for the week, that quick tips episode of God, if you haven't seen number one and two, check out the playlist, and a little bit of an update of where I am for training. Um, let's move this way, light's a bit better. Yeah, I'm stoked on my training, really enjoying it. I'm gonna try get in like a 40, 50, Okay, today I like a mixture of road and trail which will be nice and I've gone from my place all the way up to the top of Table Mountain which is that side and I'm gonna head road going through Camps Bay all the way to Nurduk and uh, back over to Tokai so I'll pop up a little map in the corner and show you guys the route and the distance and stuff because I'm not 100% sure where I'll end up um, quick tips let's get into it this is not going to be as short as a normal quick tips video obviously because it's got this in it i will put time stamps down below if you just want three quick tips because i don't do it in sessions tip number one is the scale lies um i've been cutting i've been on a diet for around i'm going into my third month i've gone from 82 kilograms down to around 76 and i'm going to head to around 74 75 depending on where my body fat percentage sits before the race before summer here in cape town in december so the scale is going to pick up water weight what you ate if you've gone to the bathroom or not what time of day it is your clothes and your gear that you've got on um what i suggest to clients and people is you weigh yourself every single day at the same time in the morning before you've eaten and everything and you take an average for the week there you'll get a little bit more of an accurate result I suggest instead of using the scale as like a, a be all and end all you take progress pictures which are really motivating throughout your diet or your cut or your fat loss and you can use a tape measure one of those um, sewing ones those floppy tape measures you can do circumference of your waist your chest your biceps or whatever and you can tell there old clothes is also another great way if you put on a pair of jeans from like a season ago or something like that and they are nice loose fitted which they will be after two months of cutting that's also a great indication that you're going in the right direction take it easy with your your dieting and your weight loss and stuff stick to it and um yeah the scale can sometimes be a little bit demotivating when perhaps you need a cheat meal on the weekend or something and on monday morning you've gone up a kilogram which is um yeah it's not great so leave the scale out of it for the most part or use it and take an average throughout the week i think that's a better thing to do i'm gonna head up to the top of table mountain now i'll probably catch you guys there for tip number two shout hey what's up okay so i've just climbed up here from the dams that's the view my usual route but it's backwards and for tip number two it's going to be consistency I know the cliche consistency is key vibe but when I started trail running I started with like two to five K runs slowly built them up and now months down the line a few weeks out from the race I consistently have been putting in a good effort and I've really really seen results whether it's in your work in your job in fitness 
quitting smoking, drinking, other bad habits, whether it's with your diet. I'm not saying that it should lack variation, especially with training and stuff, variation is key, but consistency and keeping to it, even if it doesn't immediately work in the beginning, is definitely a massive, massive thing that's made such a difference in the way I do things. And when it comes to sports and fitness, I've gotten into a hell of a lot of different sports from mountain biking, cycling, triathlon, Ironman, now trail running. I want to do longer, really long ultras one day. And I know if I'm consistent, I'm more than halfway there. Um, I think that is really, really something to pay attention to and something that often people, especially when they're doing like fat loss diets and all that sort of stuff, if in the first week or two, they aren't drastic changes, they kind of drop it. And if they don't see massive results within fitness or something like that, or from their personal trainer, then uh, they give up way too soon. Especially with the cutting diet I'm on, I only kind of started seeing proper real big differences now that I've kind of hit two months. And that is just consistently sticking to what I've worked out and what I've planned. If you guys want to know more about any of the topics that I cover, this is the quick tips. Hit me up in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, like the video if you enjoyed it. And as I said, if you want to know more, just ask me down below. I'll go into more detail or I'll make another video. As for now, I'm up here. And I'm heading towards Table Mountain, towards the cable car. Training update, I've got about four weeks left till the race. And uh, two weeks before will be taper. So I'll, I'll run you guys through in another video what exactly I'm doing to taper off and stuff. The next sort of two weeks I'm going to continue swimming for triathlon. I'm going to continue my 20k-ish bike twice a week and just keep that a little bit easier than usual. Keep the watts down. And then my runs, I'm going to keep the intensity high. Do some 5k kind of time trial sort of stuff. Some fast paced 10k's in the next two weeks but mileage is going to drop right off and elevation meters of climbing elevation per week is also going to be halved or quartered so we'll see how that goes it should work out it's kind of tried and tested with other sports but uh yeah hope you guys enjoy this if you ever come to cape town you come up skillet and gorge that way this is at the top of table mountain reserve so epic. Rad, I'll catch you guys later on. Before I actually forget, I, uh, I'm gonna cut this in. I say consistency is key, but then I don't really give you guys a, uh, a solution to the problem. And tracking, I find, especially with diet, chronometer and my fitness pal for tracking your macros and stuff really works well. And I've printed out like a three month calendar three months ago and I've written down all of my workouts as I go through I'll show you a little picture of it and that has helped me firstly stay motivated to see how far I've come throughout the calendar and also see where I'm heading what dates I'm doing specific workouts and I've swapped it around it doesn't have, it doesn't have to be uh, set in stone but it's just there so that you guys can keep track and stay consistent so I'll show you a picture of that while I'm mission up here and uh, I'll catch you guys later. It's so quiet up here. I haven't actually seen one person since I've come down uh, into the valley here. And uh, I think that brings me to tip number three earlier than I thought, and that's enjoy it. Um, not trying to be super inspirational, but you've got to enjoy what you do. And it sparked this tip just even walking down here. The traffic fades away and uh, it's just coming into this valley and listening to that. It's incredible. Enjoy what you do. Make a massive difference. Hey, what's up guys? So it's actually the next day, it's Monday, and I've just gone to do some, some work on some of the jobs that I'm up to and stuff. With regards to yesterday's trail run, I just wanted to do the debrief today. Yesterday I got back here and I didn't actually go all the way to Nurduk, which I thought I would do. I decided to get in some more elevation and go 
sort of down the hill past Ndadno through Hout Bay and then back up towards Constantia Neck. When I got to Constantia Neck I climbed the stairs again up there if anyone lives in Cape Town or knows the route. That was pretty brutal um, but it got me up to around 1,500 or 600 meters of elevation and I'll actually show you guys I've got it here on my Strava. If you want to follow me on Strava I'll leave the link down below. But it was a 47 kilometer run, it was a thousand, just under a thousand six hundred meters of elevation and my moving time was 6.21, I stopped to take breaks, I grabbed water and help bay, I went to the shops and stuff. It, overall I think it took me seven hours and the calories burned 3,851. I'll actually, I don't know how well you can see the phone so I'll just put it up with a root on the top and I'll just put it up on the screen over here but um, yeah what an epic training run it was one of my longest trail runs that I've done up to date and I thought I would just do it to kind of cap off my training for one of my biggest weeks I will be doing another video so be sure to subscribe and um, you'll be able to check that out that is going to be basically like race strategy what I'm going to do during the race and then another video I will do during this week as well is just basically highlighting what I'm doing for these next four weeks as far as tapering goes, as far as nutrition, hydration, and just my basic training and stuff. I will leave my triathlon training out of it just so that it's kind of simplified and I'll just stick to my trail running. So this will be under the trail running playlist. But after this next race, I'll go kind of more into what I'm doing for triathlon. I just also wanted to elaborate on the end of it. I was walking down into that valley at the end, as you can see, and my third tip was just enjoy it and I think I mean I walked down there and it's quiet there's no one around I didn't see anyone on the trails from sort of Constantia Neck 10 k's along it was misty and the fog was rolling in and stuff off the top of the Table Mountain and it was such an epic experience and it kind of reminds me about why I do these things and why I'm mission out there by myself and and it kind of gives you a moment alone with your own thoughts and it kind of allows you to think and go through things and I just purely enjoy it for that reason as well as the fitness and everything else and I think when it comes to enjoying something especially if it's going to be something sports and fitness based that you're going to be doing races in and stuff you're going to have times as I saw at the end of yesterday where you're going to suffer you're going to have downs you're going to feel like you can't go on, why are you doing this race, or why have you signed up for this sort of distance, um, maybe you feel overwhelmed by the amount of climbing, whatever it may be, if you enjoy what you're doing and you're doing it for the right reasons in the beginning, which to me would be to fulfill my passion for the sport, for doing it myself, to see how far I can push myself um, physically and mentally, that is why I'm out there to do it and that I can use as motivation in those times where you have those extreme lows. Um, obviously it's not as intense as if you're doing 100k or 200, 250k or 100 miler or whatever but I think when you're kind of reaching between 30 and 50k's you're going to feel um, that sort of up and down um, as you do in marathons and stuff like that as well. So I think making sure that you're doing it for the right reasons, not just to, to show a medal to someone or to put your photos of the race up on Facebook so that other people think you're cool for doing it. Um, if you're doing it purely for yourself and for the right reasons, I think that helps. And coming up with a reason prior to your race and prior to your training and thinking about why you're doing it is definitely a really good way of, of training mentally for what's to come. So yeah, that's just basically, I was really enjoying it coming down into that valley and I thought for tip number three, that was quite a cool thing. It just gives you a little bit to think about, gives you a kind of a strategy for your mental training and um, yeah, you've got to enjoy what you do at the end of the day. I think we're only here, not, not again to get too um, deep or cliche or whatever, but we're only here once and you are putting yourself through this stuff for a reason and I think if you're not enjoying it switch it up try something else there's loads of different sports loads of different things out there and I think there's definitely more out there for you if you aren't enjoying whatever you're specifically doing now mm -hmm.